All right, in today's reference section, we're going to learn how to translate and reflect, but this time we're going to try to do it without a graph and just use the coordinate rules. Uh, for this part of the video, you don't have to write anything down. You're just going to kind of watch some of the examples we did in our reference section earlier. But this time we're going to focus more on uh, the coordinates. So if we go back to translating, in this example, we're going to translate one unit right and then four units up. So I uh, provided for you the coordinates now of H, uh, G, H, I, J, and G, H, I, J prime. So uh, let's, let's focus on one thing at a time here. Let's look at all the X coordinates. So negative three, negative three, negative one, and zero. Those are our X's. And then if you compare that to our Y, uh, our other X coordinates in our, in our prime image here, can anyone think of a rule? Uh, so this would be your x prime. How to go from that works for all of them to go from negative three to negative two. Negative three change to negative two. Negative one change to zero, and zero change to one. If you say take all the x's and add one, you are right. Now let's look at the y's and do the same thing. So these are our y coordinates and these are our y primes. So let's see if we can think of a rule to go from negative three to zero, negative two to two, negative two to two, and negative five to negative one. If you say take all your y's, sorry, uh, and add four, you're also right. So basically, um, if it's your x values, and uh, or if you're moving to the right, it looks like you add one, and if you're moving up, you would add four to all your y's. So um, let's see if we can kind of predict what would happen in this example down here. So if you look here, uh, we know that this means what? Left six and up three. So let's see if we can figure out these are x, y, z, and we want to go to the primes. Anyone want to predict? what we would do to all these X's to make them go left six without actually doing it with doing it on the coordinates. So would you add six or subtract six? Yeah, you would sub subtract six to go left. So two minus six is negative four. Five minus six is negative one. And one minus six is negative five. So now let's look at the Y's. We want to go up three. So what do you think we would do to all the Y's to make it go up three? We'd probably add two. So let's add two. So negative three plus two is negative one. Two, zero plus two is two. And negative one plus two is positive one. So now if I see if that actually worked, take a look at this. So you go... Um, Let's see here, uh, negative one, two, darn it, we're off by one, negative five, negative five, one, negative four, negative one. So let's see, ah, for some reason I added two to each instead of three. So that, so that actually just made it go up two when I should have went up three. So if I add one more to all of this, this would have been zero. This would have been three. And this would have been two. So sorry about that. That gets you to negative four. Uh, negative four, zero. Negative one, three. And negative five, two. So I apologize. So uh, we'll fix that when I share that with you in class. Now let's look at some of the reflections in the coordinates. So we've seen this before. So this is a reflection over the x-axis. So if you look at the coordinates, we compare, um, this is the pre-image, and this is the image, and we're reflecting over the x-axis. Can someone tell me what happens to all the x values? If you said they stay the same, then you're right. Now let's look at the y values. So now if we look at the y values of uh, this figure here, it went from here to here. 
All right, it looks like it went how? Looks like it went opposite, right? So three became negative three, four became negative four, five became negative five, and so on and so forth. So let's try this with the, this next example. But now we're reflecting all the, over the y-axis. So can someone tell me what you think will stay the same when I just focus on the coordinates? All the y's will stay the same. So this would be negative 3, 0, 3, negative 1. And then my x's will become opposites. So uh, when I focus on my x's, I'm going to make all of these opposites. So uh, opposite of 1 is negative 1. Opposite of negative 1 is 1. Opposite of 1 is negative 1. Opposite of 4 is negative 4. So let's hopefully this time it worked out okay. So we go uh, negative 1, negative 3. There's J prime. Then we go uh, 1, 0. So 1, 0. There's K prime. L prime would be negative 1, 3. And negative 4, negative 1. So that one actually worked. So now that we, we kind of tried to explore what the rules would be, Let's quickly just uh, state the rules so we can just use the rules going forward. So basically, reflections I think are easier. If you reflect over the x-axis, keep the x-coordinate, and then you just make all your y's opposite. If you reflect over the y-axis, you're going to keep all your y's, and it's important that it's the x op that you make the x opposite. So if it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. And then for translations, check out the rule. Basically, if you want to go left, subtract, um, subtract from your x's. If you want to go right, add to your x's. So that's dealing with your x's. And then for y's, if you want to go down, subtract from your y's. And if you want to go up, add to your y's. So let's do the odd examples on this video, and then I'll let you try the evens. So. Uh, let's start with the easier ones, which is, I think, the reflection. So first thing I'm going to do for my reflection over the x-axis is do what to all the x-coordinates? Should I make them opposite or keep it the same? All right, so I'm going to keep them the same. So r prime would be positive, um, negative 3, excuse me, keep it the same. s prime, keep the x the same, would be negative 2. t prime, sorry, let's close those parentheses, uh, would be 2. And then u prime, keep that as zero. And then we're going to make all the y's opposite. Here's the bell again, sorry about that. So this would be positive three, zero. Opposite of zero is just zero. Opposite of zero is just zero. And opposite of negative two is positive two. All right, so let's, uh, let's go on to number one here. So we're going to translate, it says two left. So that means we're going to minus 2 from all my x's. And then what are we going to do to the y's to make it go 3 up? We're going to add 3. So uh, going forward here, uh, just for time's sake, I'm going to do all my x's first. So this would be x minus 2, so this would be 0. Negative 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 4 minus 2 is 2. I'm going to add 3 to all my y's, so this would be 0, 4, and 5. And this last one would have to be uh, negative 2 plus 3 is, of course, uh, positive 1. It's the same thing here. Let's do one more. Uh, this is translating uh, this last one. Uh, 2 left and 3 up. So 2 left, 3 up. So could someone tell me what that's going to do to the x's first? So we'll do x and then minus 2 for all of them. And then, um, oh man, that's the exact same as the one we just did. So why don't we just not do that example? It's going to create the same thing. So maybe you can try while I pause the video 4, 5, and 6.